What's up, family? I just want to introduce myself. I am Tara Chantel, the creator of Dickmatize Mini Series. This series is a comedy filled with laughter, filled with relatability, filled with a connection that, honestly, the screen will say it all. But it will bring so much clarity. I hope it will answer many questions with just displaying in an art form. Art is a powerful tool that we can all use to connect with, to understand, and to learn from. So I like to use art as educational yet entertaining. So this is why Digmatize has been created because who has not gone through a soul tie? Who has not gone through a breakup? Who has not fell in love? Okay, I think all of us have and we all got played or we all got our feelings hurt because we didn't know that it was a game, that we didn't know the lesson that we had to learn by entering this relationship, this experience, because these relationships are just our reflections of how much we love or how much we don't love ourselves. So if we continue to look for love outside of ourselves in all different areas and all different places, we will never find it until we find ourselves. What it is like dating in Atlanta. Oh my goodness, Atlanta is not a real place. I'm gonna say it one more time. Atlanta is not a real place, okay? This place is a jungle filled with scammers, okay? You gotta make sure you don't got nothing in your pockets because they gonna take you up top every chance they get. It is filled with raggedy motherfuckers that's just looking for a come up. It's filled with beautiful excellence and beautiful black people. But the dating pool got piss and doodle -doo in it, if you all know. It got piss and it got doodle. -doo. So why would you want to put your foot in it? I don't know. Y'all seen what happened to Risa Tisa? Y'all seen what happened to Morgan Bailey, the random man from Atlanta? Y'all seen what happened to them girls? I am no different, okay? That will happen to me if I decide to get into that raggedy dating pool filled with musties and crusties and dusties. That will happen to me. I don't wanna be dusty. I don't wanna be crusty. I don't want none of that on side of me, in me. So I have not been dating in Atlanta. I just have been an observer. I don't have any scary stories, any horror stories about dating. All I have been noticing about what other people have gone through. So with these different nuggets that TikTok has been exposing on the internet because we live in one big group chat, y'all, okay? The group chat is the internet. Everything that getting exposed, like Kendrick doing a diss about Dre, this and that, it's just everybody beefing with everybody in a rap game right now. And then everybody tells their business on the internet. So that just allows me to be like, hold on, wait a minute, this is what y'all going through by dating? These fools in Atlanta, this is what's happening? Why would I do that to myself, okay? I'm not special. It, it would just be my time. It would be just my time to get blamed. Why would I do that? Shake a foot, why would I do that? So I have not did that to myself because I don't want them problems. I don't want that stress just by having a penis in my mess. Okay, they just gonna cause a mess. That penis just gonna cause a mess. How, why would I do that? No, thank you. Dating is a distraction, especially in Atlanta. It's just a distraction. You do it for fun. You do it for entertainment because I know you ladies ain't looking for no husband out here. They is not husband material. Okay, they got a pistol in their purse. They wear purses out here. They wear purses. They don't have wallets no more. 
Okay, oh my goodness. What does celibacy look like for me? Celibacy and abstinence are two different things. A lot of people go into abstinence to abstain themselves by sexual activity, drinking, eating animals, or just participating in the casual marketplace. When you have control and you are giving your flesh a break, you are giving a break for a period of time. So that is what abstaining means and looks like. But celibacy is a whole different thing. It is a lifestyle. It is when you are not getting married and you are not having kids. You are doing it for a lifetime. When you are not being sexually active, you are not giving away your body. So celibacy really looks like self-love. When you love your body, how you live your life, how you get up every day, how you motivate yourself, you love that. You love your lifestyle of being independent from attachments. You are solo from attachments when you are celibate you are not connected to anybody's demons you are not in anybody's business you are not entangled in anybody's mess so it's a good feeling to say the rest that celibacy is truly the highest form of self-love to me celibacy is Something where you are displaying not only discipline but self-control and you're using this creative force not for not sexually but creatively and you are creating things this is why I created Digmatized mini series in under a month by writing it producing it it's happening because this energy is being channeled in a creative force instead of a lustful one or instead of a low grade one. What does decenter mean? Decentered is a trending topic right now, and you are not only decentering romance, you are decentering sex, you are decentering marriage, you are decentering men overall. And men are not the enemy here, but we have lived in a society where a lot of people only think that romantic love is the highest aspiration in life like people make romantic love like it's a goal that they must achieve and if they don't achieve it then they feel like they are not being validated or they feel like their self-worth is being diminished because they are connecting to an entity outside of themselves so you can never win when you are censoring other people as the focus of your happiness so that is what decentering is looking like and you are just making yourself the main character you are embodying that main character energy and you lead your life you are not being the sidekick you are not being the extra in nobody's movie you are living your own movie because life is one big movie and if you don't live it on your terms if you don't live it how you want to live it and make your own rules then you are gonna play yourself in this game of life i am the creator tara Chantel of digmatize please tune in to the series it is streaming now on youtube